TSMC appears committed to keeping its most advanced chips in Taiwan. Initially, it announced that a mature 28 nanometer process would be used at its new Kaohsiung facility. But now, rumor has it that it plans to switch to the state-of-the-art 2 nanometer process with mass production set for 2025. The company is expected to clarify its plan at its earnings call on Thursday. Ahead of the conference call, Kaohsiung City confirmed that it had been notified of a switch to a more advanced process. TSMC originally planned to use a mature 28 nanometer process at its new facility in Kaohsiung. But now there are rumors that the plant will use a more advanced 2 nanometer process with mass production slated for 2025. TSMC informed us that they wanted to change the manufacturing process to a more advanced process. We also invited the central government to respond and make the required adjustments. There's no issue here. As for the environmental compliance report, we'll wait for them to file all the paperwork before following up with administrative procedures. Kaohsiung Mayor Chen Shimai confirmed that the city had received prior notification from TSMC. He said that TSMC's water and electricity needs would not be a problem and that the city was prepared to give its full support. As for whether the FAB will use the 2 nanometer technology, TSMC is expected to address this at its earnings call on Thursday. Currently, TSMC has a 2 nanometer FAB at Shinju's Baoshan, 2 and 7 nanometer FABs at Central Taiwan Science Park, and 3 and 4 nanometer FABs at Southern Taiwan Science Park. There is also the Taoyuan Longtan plant, which could potentially use the 1.4 nanometer process. If TSMC proceeds with the 2 nanometer process in Kaohsiung, it would signal its continued commitment to keeping advanced processes at home. Investors have reacted positively to the potential move, driving TSMC stock price towards 6,000 NT in recent days. If 2 nanometer production can be expanded in Taiwan, it would be good for TSMC, whether in terms of cost or meeting customer demands. Despite worsening geopolitical risks, Taiwan is still the global leader in advanced processes, thanks to its robust industrial chain and talent pool. With the world asking how it can wean itself off Taiwan's chips, experts say there's still a long way to go before that can happen.